the annals of antiquity, nestled within the sands of time, lies the mesmerizing tale of Solomon's Temple. Revered as the first temple, it stands as a magnificent fusion of historical fact and ancient mythology, etching its grandeur upon the pages of history. Embodied within its sacred walls are profound echoes of religious significance, cultural prowess, and architectural splendor that have captivated the imaginations of humanity for millennia. Around 970 BCE, Solomon, heir to the throne of Israel, and known for his unparalleled wisdom and diplomacy, ascended to power. Inspired by divine visions and a sense of profound reverence, he envisioned an awe-inspiring edifice that would stand as a testament to the divine covenant and unite his kingdom under the banner of spirituality. Thus began an audacious undertaking that would forever shape the course of history. Solomon's Temple, a stunning witness to ancient architectural and religious genius, was a multi-year joint effort involving a large staff and a harmonious blend of stone and cedar wood. The temple's building began in the bustling city of Jerusalem, a melting pot of cultures and traditions. Skilled artisans, laborers, and craftsmen from other lands and adjacent regions converged on the construction site, unified in their desire to bring Solomon's sacred vision to fruition. Crafted by the hands of skilled artisans, laborers, and craftsmen from far away, the construction of the temple became a monumental display of ingenuity and human collaboration. United by a shared purpose, they endeavored to erect a sacred sanctuary that would house the Ark of the Covenant, the revered vessel believed to hold the divine laws etched upon its stone tablets, the Ten Commandments. The labor force involved in the construction of the temple was in the tens of thousands, with historical estimates putting the figure at roughly around 150,000. This large group of skilled workers toiled with unrelenting passion and purpose, generating a synergy that echoed with each hammer and chisel hit. Legends and chronicles intertwine, weaving tales of celestial intervention in the temple's construction. Angelic visitations are whispered in the winds of ancient lore, inspiring the architects and craftsmen, imparting celestial wisdom, and guiding the hands that carve the intricate designs upon its walls. Among the mysteries that enshroud the temple's construction, one name surfaces, the Shamir, a legendary creature. It was said to possess the power to cleave stone without the aid of mortal tools, infusing the temple with an aura of divine enchantment. The temple rose to express its majestic presence atop the revered temple mount, an elevated prominence that reached for the heavens. Its outer dimensions spanned approximately 60 cubits in length, 20 cubits in width, and 30 cubits in height, a testament to the scale of its vision. Adorned with exquisite carvings of cherubim, palm trees, and intricate floral motifs, its walls exuded a radiant magnificence, massively crafted from the aromatic cedar wood and embellishing with gleaming layers of pure gold. The fusion of stone and cedar wood brought to life Solomon's temple, creating an ambiance that went beyond the visual spectacular. The perfume of freshly hewn cedar mingled with the earthy scent of limestone, generating a sense of experience that resonated with the solemnity of the location. The fragrances seemed to carry whispers of supernatural blessings and angelic direction, mingled with the sweat and labor of the devoted staff. Within the inner sanctum, the Holy of Holies resided in the heart of the temple's divinity, the Ark of the Covenant, fashioned from precious acacia wood, overlaid with resplendent gold. The Ark's dimensions stood at approximately 2.5 cubits in length, 1.5 cubits in width, and 1.5 cubits in height. The cherubim with the outstretched wings that graced the ark's cover imbued an air of sacred majest, their gaze forever fixed upon the mercy seat where the presence of the divine was believed to reside. Beyond its architectural grandeur, Solomon's temple emerged as the fulcrum of religious worship, cultural identity, and national unity for the kingdom of Israel at the time. Its consecration marked an unparalleled occasion, a culmination of lavish ceremonies, sacrifices, and celebrations that echoed harmonious relationship between the people and their creator. While the physical remains of Solomon's Temple have long since vanished for the annals of history, its memory does live on. 
Solomon's Temple is an everlasting symbol of spiritual transcendence and cultural majesty. It's a tribute to human endeavor, divine inspiration, and the enduring search for contact with the divine. As the centuries unfurled their tapestry, Solomon's Temple etched itself upon the spiritual canvas of humanity. Its profound symbolism and spiritual significance transcended geographical borders and cultural divides. Its tales of glory, worship, and devotion found their way into sacred texts of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, where the Temple's enduring presence continues to resonate as a beacon of spiritual yearning and reverence. However, History's chapters are often woven with threads of tragedy. In 586 BCE, the Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar II laid siege to Jerusalem, bringing about the lamentable destruction of the city and Solomon's temple. This cast a shadow upon the pages of time, leaving the echoes of its loss reverberating through the corridors of history. Even in the twilight of ruin, the allure of this temple refuses to wane. Historians and archaeologists embark on an unending quest to decipher the enigmas concealed within its remains, unearthing precious artifacts and inscriptions that offer glimpses into the customs, beliefs, and architectural wonders of the ancient world. These are interesting things with J.C.